Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Louise and welcome to X Hit. Today's episode is all about stepper size. If you don't have a step like the one I'm standing on, you can use your stairs. It's easy as that. Okay, so everyone's favorite problem area is always the inner thigh. So we're going to make sure we're really going to be working those today and get those legs looking fantastic. Okay, so basically we're going to do the leg side lunges. So we're going to bring it out and we're just going to bring it up and when we pull it in we're going to make sure we really squeeze those glutes and we're going to step back down so we're going to start with the right leg so we're going to do two steps up step it out to the side bring it up hold bring it down and back together so stepping out to the side bring it up hold it you're going to squeeze it here all into the glutes and bring it back down we're going to do 30 seconds on each leg if you're using the stairs you can step to the side of your stair and do exactly the same and then just turn around when we do the other leg. Okay, so let's start those 30 seconds off now. We want to make sure that our leg is really straight, both legs, and pulling it back down. Lift it up as high as you can. If you're struggling with the height, that's fine. Just do it nice and low, but as long as you're just keeping it nice and tight. Down and lift. Well done. We're just going to be doing another halfway there for this leg. Lift it up, hold, and back down. You should really be feeling it in those legs. Squeeze, squeeze, and bring it back down again. Hold it. That's good. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. Hold it. Remember, when you're doing exercise, you don't want to make sure that you're not working on a full stomach. So I normally advise that probably between an hour and a half, two hours before that you do exercise, that you have something like a light salad or some yogurt or fruit is really good too. Okay, we're nearly done on this leg. Just 30 seconds on each side. Okay, let's switch right over to the left side. Start with the left leg. Bend down and put it up and back down again. Really push that leg and hold it nice and high as you can. If you can't, that's fine. Just make sure that you're balanced and you're not wobbling all over the place. Okay, you're almost there on the first exercise, guys. Your heart rate should be increasing and you should be breathing a little bit heavier too. It means you're doing it right. Okay, let's give me one more of these. Really bend, put it in, hold those glutes and back down again. Okay, next thing we're going to do is our calves. These muscles here always look really good wearing, wearing high heels, but if you can't wear heels all the time, which we can't always, let's just try and improve those by doing some calf raises. So, I want to stand with my balls on my feet just on the step. And we're going to bend down, hold our stomach and our hands. And we're just going to raise up like this. So we're going to do 20 seconds on each leg and then 20 seconds using both legs. If you're finding it too hard on the step, you can just use the floor and bend down and just, the step just gives a little bit more of an extra resistance. Okay, so let's start with that right leg. We're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. Bend down and let's go. Now this is really hard for your, really good for your balance too. It is tricky, but it's gonna really make sure that we strengthen those calf muscles. And the higher you can get up, the better it's going to be. Okay, if you are going to fall off balance, that's fine. You can just put your foot down and just go again. And one more. Okay, let's switch right onto the left leg. I want to bend down. The lower you can get, the more support it's going to give you. Let's go 20 seconds. So keep breathing. You're doing good, guys. You should really be feeling it in those calves. It's really good for your balance too. And also your posture. You've got less than 10 seconds to go. Stay with me. That's good, guys. Keep going. Just remember that body that you desire. Okay, let's do both legs together. Let's bend down nice and low. And we're just going to bring them both up together. This is the easier bit. Now, because you've got both legs together, you can go even higher on those balls of the feet. And the further you push, the more of a resistance you're going to get and a better result at the end of the day. Okay, keep going, guys. That's it. Keep breathing. Five seconds left. Well done. And relax. Okay, you should be feeling really, really tight in those calves. So if you do need to do a quick stretch out, 
stretching those calf muscles is nice and easy. Just bend down and pull the toe up. Remember, you can put it on pause if you need to, just to stretch out those body, and then just come back into the routine. Okay, let's start on those lunges. We're gonna use the step two, because it's just gonna make sure that we're gonna get even more of a resistance using the lunge and using the step. So, one leg in front of the other, making sure again that our knee is not over our toe, and we're just gonna bend down. And on the left leg, like so. Okay, so we're gonna start with the right leg. I'm gonna do 45 seconds on each leg. And let's begin with the right. Put your foot fully on the step and bring it back. All the way on the step and here. Put your hands on your hips, that's gonna give you a little bit of support. And the lower you can get your knee on the ground, the better it's gonna be, but we don't want it touching. Remember, you're just going at your own pace. We're doing time here, not reps. So if you're struggling, just take a little bit of a breather, just relax it down, and then just join me as soon as you can. That's good, guys. You're over halfway there on the right leg. Now remember, it's really important when you do do exercise that you're eating the right things. You don't want to make sure that your belly's really heavy before you start exercising, because you're going to get stitches and stomach cramps. Okay, give me one more, and then we're going to switch over. Let's take it onto the left leg. Let's get really low, see if low as you can get. If you're struggling with this, you know, you can just take a moment to breathe or you don't have to use the step. You can easily just do the same lunge without using the step. But for those of you who really want that extra push in the exercise, use the step. It's going to make things a little bit harder. Okay, keep breathing, guys. You're doing a great job. Just remember how good you feel, you're going to feel tomorrow when you've done this exercise. And if you keep doing it, you're going to get that perfect body. Okay, it's going to be less than 10 seconds. Well done, everybody. And let's give me one more. Let's just hold it and release. Okay, squats. Now, they're really good for our quads and our glutes, as long as we do it properly and we use the right technique. So we're going to stand on our step. It's just going to help us a little bit with balance using the step. And we're just going to squat down. We want our feet probably about shoulder width distance apart. And you really just want to push your bottom out. So if I show you from the side, it's this sort of movement. OK, so we're going to do 30 seconds and we're going to do two sets. So do it your own pace. Let's begin. OK, really make sure that you stick your bum out. And when you pull in, you're really feeling those glutes really, really working. Push it all the way down and up, down and up. Okay, so we're really stretching out and using those quads and making sure our booty's gonna look good in our favorite pair of skinny jeans. Okay, you've got five seconds left of this set and then one more 30 seconds. Okay, and relax. Just take five seconds, just walk it on a step for a bit. I'm gonna go back into the next 30 seconds. So again, legs shoulder width apart and let's go, 30 seconds. Now the lower you can get, the better it's gonna be. But I wanna make sure that you're doing the exercises correctly rather than doing too many that are incorrect. Well done, that's really, push that bottom out and really squeeze in. Okay, you've got 10 seconds to go. That's all you've got. Keep breathing. Well done, everybody. You're doing great. And one more. Okay. Right. Now we're going to go and work on those abs. Let's take it into some sit-ups. Now, we're going to use our step. If you're finding that too tricky, it's fine. You can just lie on the floor. Maybe you have a mat underneath you just to protect your spine. Just want to lie back. And we're going to be doing some crunches. So we want to put our legs at 90 degrees. And we're just going to pull up making sure that our back is really, really flat on the floor. We want to make sure we don't arch it. Okay, so we're going to take two sets of 30 seconds. We're going to have a little bit of break in between. If you want to put your hands and rest it, rest your head in your hands, it's going to support your neck. Okay, so let's take it for 30 seconds. We're just going to squeeze as much as we can, make sure that we're still looking up. If you don't need your head to be weighted in your hands, just thinking about having an orange here and you just want to hold it, hold the orange making sure that our legs are at a right angle and really squeeze it up as much as you can. 
Okay, give me 10 more seconds of this. The slower you do it, the better the result you're gonna get. Okay, one more and relax. Okay, just wanna stretch out that stomach. Take a breather and let's go back into the next 30. Okay, so same position and let's put it up. Remember, try and envision the stomach that you're going for and that's gonna really push you to succeed and keep training. We wanna get that really flat washboard abs. That's good guys, keep going. You're doing a great job. Just really squeeze it as high as you can. You've got less than 10 seconds, that's all you've got. Five. Keep breathing, keep that back flat. And give me one more. And relax, again, stretching out that stomach. And let's roll up. Just wanna stretch right to the ceiling. Just to stretch out. Take a breather. And then we're gonna go back down and work on our obliques. So that's these muscles at the side. Okay, we're gonna lie back down, the same position that we were on before. And we're gonna twist to either side. Now we wanna think about putting this elbow right to the other side, as far as you can stretch it. That's good, guys. That's the technique we're looking for. Now you can put your legs here at 90 degrees. You can rest them here if you're finding that bit tricky. But I think for the first 30 seconds, we're gonna do and keep it up here. So we're gonna take two sets of 30 seconds. Okay, everybody ready? Let's go. So you really wanna just try and twist as much as you can. Now if you are using a step, it's gonna be much harder because you're also balancing and using your core. So just look right over to the other side, making sure you're stretching as much on either side. You've got 10 seconds left on this one. You're always gonna find that one goes a little bit further than the other. And two more. Okay, and relax. Let's stretch that stomach out again. And let's take it into the last 30 seconds. So, feet up again, and let's twist. Really stretching out those obliques. Really crunching it in. You should be feeling it almost, just a really tight feeling within your stomach. It's gonna be worth it at the end of the day though, guys. I promise you. If you keep doing this, you're just going to get in tip-top shape. If you're finding that too difficult, you can always just rest your hands, your legs down here, keeping your head in your hands. You've got 10 seconds left of this. Really push it. That's good, guys. Are you getting a successful result? I promise you. One more and relax. And let's stand up and let's stretch out that stomach. Just pulling right up to the top of the ceiling. Okay, and keep breathing. We don't want to make sure we don't go dizzy. Okay, last exercise. We're going to do some push-ups. Using our step again, I just want you to go down, putting your hands just apart so it's a good press-up position. And we're just going to push down. We're going to do two sets of 20 seconds. If you're finding that too difficult, you can just drop your knees down, but make sure that we're using this part of our knee on the floor. We want to protect those kneecaps. Okay, so let's take 20 seconds. We're gonna keep that back nice and flat. So let's push it down. Remember, if you do want more power, you can go up like this. We're just doing two sets of 20 seconds. Drop those knees if you're struggling. Remember, it's all about technique. And give me one more. That's great, let's just roll those. Roll those shoulders, now you've just got 20 seconds more of this whole episode, that's it. I'm sure that you can just really push it through and get those last 20 seconds out. Okay, so let's do it together. In that position, legs up if you need, or down, and let's take it for 20 seconds. This is really good for your biceps, and strengthening up those shoulder, mus shoulder muscles. Push it down. You're doing really good, guys. You've just got five seconds to go. Okay, give me one more. And relax. Well done, guys. You did an excellent job. 
Thank you for joining me today with Step A Size here on X Hit. I'm Rebecca Louise and I always like to keep you motivated. So we're going to be bringing you even more fun and exciting episodes. So subscribe to our channel. We're here five days a week. You can leave me a comment, give me some feedback, tell your friends and I hope to see you again tomorrow.